Thank you for joining us on Journey to 600. Today we're going to be focusing on various scales and levels, which falls under the other system category. Here I've provided a brief overview of the scales and levels that we are going to be going over today. This is not a comprehensive list, but I figured that this was a good place to start. First, we're going to be going over K level, which is a scale for prosthesis. So zero is when a prosthetic will not enhance the quality of life for your patient. One is a household ambulator. Two is a limited community ambulator. So they have difficulty navigating uneven ground and steps. Three is an unlimited community ambulator. And four is when the patient exceeds basic ambulation skills. So this will be an athlete, an active adult, or even a child. Next, we have the modified Ashworth scale. I think it's important to note that there is a Ashworth scale as well as the modified. I have provided the modified because that is what is most commonly used. So zero is when there's no tone. One is when there's a slight increase in tone with minimal resistance at end range. So kind of that catch and release that you've heard about. One plus is a slight increase in tone with a catch and minimal resistance through less than half of the range of motion. Two is a marked increase in tone through most of range of motion. And three is when passive range of motion is difficult. And four is when the patient is rigid. Next, we have the Glasgow Coma Scale. And you are going to be looking at three different things. Eyes opening, verbal response, and motor response. With each of these, you're going to be looking for different responses to stimuli. So, for example, say you pinch the patient and they withdraw from you. That would be a four. So then you would add all of their responses up, and at the very bottom you will see anything less than an 8 is severe, 9 to 12 is moderate, and 13 to 15 is a mild. Next, we have levels of concussion. So a grade 1, which is mild, is when there's a little bit of confusion, no loss of consciousness, symptoms and mental status resolve in less than 15 minutes. A grade two is moderate, so there's confusion, still no loss of consciousness, but symptoms and mental status uh, last longer than 15 minutes. And a grade three is severe because you lose consciousness. Intermittent claudication scale. So intermittent claudication is when muscle pain happens when you're active, but then stops when you're at rest. It's usually a symptom of blood flow problems like peripheral artery disease. This is a great scale to use with your patients to kind of gauge their level of pain specifically to their muscle pain. When it comes to treatment, it's pretty simple. You walk and rest when pain subsides. You want to start with about 10 to 20 minutes of walking and then each time you want to increase it by five minutes. This helps increase time and in making sure that you're managing their pain well. Next, we have Hone and Yard Classification of Disability. This is used for Parkinson's disease, and I do want to point out that there is a Hone and Yard and then a modified Hone and Yard. The one that I am using here is the classic Hone and Yard Classification of Disability. You're more than welcome to look up on Physiopenia for both scales side by side, which is useful, but I've only really ever seen the original, not the modified. But with the MPT, you can never be too safe to kind of know both. Lastly, we're going over the Brunstrom seven stages of recovery. This is commonly used for individuals who have had a stroke or a traumatic brain injury. Um, it's kind of a framework which classifies the effect of motor function into stages along with an outlining of how muscle control can be restored after these injuries. Stage one is when there is no movement or reflexes. Stage two is when that synergy develops. 
Stage three is when that individual has voluntary movement within that synergy. Stage four is when spasticity decreases and they can start to move outside of that synergy. And then similar stage five, that's when the independent limb moves and further decreases their ability outside of that synergy. Those two can sometimes get confusing, so knowing those keywords is important. Stage six is isolated joint movement with no spasticity. And then seven is when they have made a full recovery. I'm going to be leaving a link to another YouTube video to the YouTuber Post Stroke. She does a very good visuals of each of these stages. And I think it's really important that we utilize multiple different resources when studying for the MPTE. Okay, the correct answer is B. Let's go over this question. Your patient is a household ambulator with their prosthetic. What is their K level? I think it's important to note that K levels start with zero and zero being prosthetic will not enhance your patient's quality of life. And then it goes one, two, three, four. One being household ambulator, two being limited community ambulator, three being unlimited community ambulator, and four being someone who exceeds basic ambulation skills. So you immediately should have been able to mark off C because there is not a one plus in that skill. A one plus is used mainly in the uh, modified Ashworth skill that we spoke about. Okay, the correct answer is C. Let's go over this question. You're performing a modified Ashworth scale on a patient with suspected tone. You find that it is difficult to complete their passive range of motion. What would you score them on the modified Ashworth scale? I think it's important that we remind ourselves what numbers are included in the scale. Those numbers include zero, one, one plus, two, three, and four. So one plus is when there is a slight increase in tone with a catch and minimal resistance through less than half of the range of motion. Two is a marked increased tone through most of their range of motion. Three is more tone and passive range of motion is difficult. Four is rigidity.
Okay, the correct answer is C. Let's go over this. You are grading your patient using the Glasgow Coma Scale. You find their eye-opening response to be three, their verbal response to be two, and their motor response to be four. What level are they? So with this question, they've already given you everything you need to know. You don't need to know that eye-opening response three is them responding to speech. You don't need to know that. You just need to add these up. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Your answer is nine. So you could go ahead and mark off A and D. So now you're left with B and C. This is where it's really important to remember the scale. Like when you get the number, what does that fall under? Severe, moderate, or mild? So as a refresher, anything less than eight is severe. Anything from nine to 12 is moderate. And anything 13 to 15 is mild. So that is how you get your correct answer. Nine, moderate. Okay, the correct answer is A. Let's go over this question. Your patient is recovering from a stroke. You are utilizing the Brunstrom stages and find that your patient is starting to voluntarily move in their synergy. What stage is this patient in? So with this stage scale, I think it gets really confusing between stages three and stages five. So stage three is when the patient voluntarily moves in that synergy, while stage four is spasticity is decreasing and they can start to move outside of their synergy. And five is independent limb movement and further decrease in synergy. Once again, I'm gonna highly suggest you go and look at the YouTube video that I have linked below. It is a great visual and she explains it very thoroughly. Okay, the correct answer is C. What is the lowest a patient can score on the Glasgow Coma Scale? This is once again where it's important to know the numbers that are included in each scale. So with this one, they range from 1 to 4, 1 to 5, and 1 to 6, depending on what response you're looking for, whether it be eye, verbal, or motor. 
But with that being said, they all start with one. So the lowest you can get on this scale is a three. Thank you again for joining us on Journey to 600. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you know when we post our next video.